Wow, 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 wow. Glory be to Jesus. Yes, karibu sana. Karibu sana. To our tonight broadcast we in Daniel chapter number 6. And my topic tonight is the angel of God has a shut the mounds of the lions. Yes, I'm a funga kabisa. And let's believe that by the way. Make it a prophetic word upon your life. I mean ya kwamba malaika wa Mungu wamefunga vinywa. Chochote kinakaa simba kwako. Hali yote inakaa simba kwako. Believe God tonight. Whether niko biashara yako, whether niko family yako, believe. Ah, uh, yes. Nim sakiba karibu sana Pastor Josphat. How is Kayore? <laughs> Judy, karibu sana. Mola gonia, <laughs> karibu sana. Ah, uh, help me to share tag your friend tonight. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Mary bo karibu sana siko kama hapo help me to share tonight is such a night tonight is such a night we are going to go deeper in Daniel chapter number 6 we are going to do go deeper mambo kadha wa kadha and we are going to be blessed in a mighty way so karibu sana wana watu wengi sana wana join kwa haraka sana hi pastor Moridi where have you been umepotea <laughs> sana by the way sija kuona for a long time how is the million city nimesikia kwamba ume preach Christ pale sana. Win wine karibu sana Ronda Nyambura karibu sana Evangelist Michael umeshea. <laughs> Mary Isaac. Karibu sana. Help me to share tag your friend. Let mugai wacha tuingie Daniel chapter number 6. Daniel chapter number 6. It is such a chapter. And I tell you life yako itakuwa the same again. I believe a kwamba kuna marika wametumwa chochote kile kusumbua doesn't matter mahali uko doesn't matter ile hali unapitia but I believe kuna marika wametumwa in Jesus mighty name Hallelujah 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 Thank you Karo Moreithi karibu sana Magi Joroge Ah Yeah help me to share help me to share help me to share help me to share thank you for those who are sharing thank you Kuna watu ambao wana share God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Jacqueline, God bless you Randa. Yoranda. Ah. Wadani wa mugo Agnes Ombua, Zindama. Yes, yes. Tag your friend, create a watch party, share kwa marafiki wacha wabarikiwe. Ah, uh, ukibarikiwa wacha wabarikiwe hata wao. Nani sema chari ya karibu sana na sema kwa bako huko Nairobi It is such a time. Ay 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 don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Tag your friend mwambie tumeingia. <coughs> mwambie tumeingia. Oh Jude. <laughs> Jude nasema kwa bore de ameshia. <laughs> ah, shikoka wa bore de ameshia. Mero zero umeshia. <laughs> We are in Daniel chapter number 6 Daniel chapter number 6 Daniel chapter number 6 Kuna lessons kali ziko mahali pale And we are going to go deeper we are going to go deeper we are going to have a time of declaration Maneka na mine kobo kuna malaika wanatumwa all over The way Mungu alituma malaika mahali Daniel ilikuwa mweko kwenye tundu la simba mahali pale Then Bible says angel of God akatumwa pale kwa ile shimo mahali pale and the Bible says akafunika wale sima vinywa awakeweza alalalalala kupigana ndani au kukura ndani awangeweza by the way maneke malaika wali intervene na kwa hiyo situation na premier tonight May the angels of God intervene right now. Whether ni kwa familia yako, whether ni kwa biashara, may the angels of God intervene. Karibu sana Sofia wa Kiombo. God bless you so much. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Yes. Ah uh, my 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 tag your friend mwambie kuje tubarikiwe. Ambia rafiki yako create watch party share kwa groups ambazo uja share tulisema kwamba there is a blessing waka tumesaidia mtu mwingine abarikiwe mtu mwingine ambaye hana nguvu apate nguvu through this word it is not in vain it is not in vain lazima heaven kuna kitu ta tena kwako Younes Machari how are you doing <laughs> Sarah Emery karibu sana my 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 so we are in Daniel chapter number 6 We are in Daniel chapter number 
I like this chapter. If kuna chapter napenda ni hii, chapter number 6. Uh, watu wa Moranga karibu sana watu wa watu wa 001 umeona watu wa Doha watu wa German watu wa UK watu wa Seattle watu wa Texas nimewaona <laughs> ah ma, man peace <laughs> ah karibu sana karibu sana ah nafikiri yangu mkubwa sana huwa by the way na Friday sana na Saturday kule nini Facebook Every Friday, if how just kids are those someone stuff a diary, so ties, rejection, dreams, and a party. Kavaru do other party, chaneo ya kenda hapo na lazima, lazima, lazima party utabariki wasana. Na if by the how just kids are to pick it we jana ya part two, manake kuna kona ya asubui, kona ya pili, and a party kwa my channel YouTube channel. Enda subscribe hapo tuko hapo sikize hiyo na utabarikiwa abida karibu sana james mwena karibu sana we are about to go we have one minute now one minute to go daniel chapter number six daniel chapter number six daniel chapter number six it is our chapter Woo, tomorrow we are in daniel chapter number seven the four beasts oh my god my god my god the little horn Napenda sana tomorrow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Moro gina nasoma kwa faroji ya tuje fikisha mafuta 8 years. So <laughs> Ani unagua ni mkuja church. <laughs> ah. Ya yeah, by the way ni msoki mbona nasema it was Friday he Friday dealing with evil waters. Dealing with evil waters this Friday. Don't miss it. Dealing with evil waters. He Friday tuko hapo dealing with evil waters. So We are ready to go. We are ready to go. We in Daniel chapter number 6. Daniel chapter number 6. Mimi nataka tuamini kwamba Mungu ametuma malaika. Wale simba mnasubuana na wao. Simba si lazima kuwa mnyama no. Hata kuna wakati na miandika pale by the way kuna post and repost kwa my page. Kuna kitu ambacho Paul alisema ya kwamba Mungu alimuokoa kwenye kinywa cha simba does that one does not mean ya kwamba Paul alikuwa na simba mahali a a ni watu ambao walikuwa na korofana na wao na alikuwa anawaita simba kuna issues inakaa simba the same way baba alituma malaika the same way tonight i want to be prophetic the same way tonight baba natuma malaika wake hali yote inakaa simba lazima hao simba <laughs> baba atakuwa kwa kutoka kwa kinywa cha simba malaika lazima vinywa vya simba tonight lazima vifunikwe in Jesus mighty name whether ni simba wana kama gonjwa whether ni simba wana carry rejection whether ni simba wa madeni come on wale simba wanatamani watakutafuna lazima tuambie leo usiku leo ya kwamba you carry another lion <laughs> lion of the tribe of Judah there is no way you can carry lion in you na lion za kidunia zikushinde hapana i'm going to show you in the bible there are so many people kadha wa kadha walipigana na simba I my good god so i brief kuna marika wameachiriwa i want to declare this simba hata kuweza na tuko bado ukisema simba stir ah ni shetani ambaye anajiriganisha bado na simba tunajua simba moja tu ukweli jesus christ awe gine ni mfano mimi nasema kwamba mtakanyanga simba kwa miguu yenu it is in the bible in the book of psalms mtakanyanga simba kwa miguu yenu meaning simba wanafaa kuwa chini ya miguu yetu hawafai kuwa wakituongoza hawafai kuwa wakituweka uoga they are supposed to be under our feet na raga nitangazia kwamba simba wote leo lazima wakipata lazima ta experience the power of the finish work of the cross Baba tunakupa sifa we ni tegemeo. We baba ni kimbilio. We baba ni msaada. Unatenda makubwa na maajabu. Nani kama we Bwana? Jehova tutukuza jina lako. Tuinua jina lako Bwana. Tuinama mbele zako roho. Tukutukuza. Tuasema ni asante kwa neema yako. Asante kwa wokovu wako Bwana. Asante kwa utakatifu wako. Asante kwa ulizi wa kimaajabu. Baba umekuwa tegemeo, umekuwa kituongoza, umekuwa kitilinda Jehova God. Chochote tuko nacho ni wewe pea hata baba Mungu atazide baraka tuko nazo ni wewe baba umetupea ile position tuko nayo ni wewe baba umetupea asante maana kwa pale kwa msalaba shetani alishindwa pale kwa msalaba ulituondolea dhambi pale kwa msalaba ulituondolea rahana pale kwa msalaba ulituondolea na mambo yaliyokuwa yanatufuata Jehovah God na tunatangaza baba usiku leo watu wako bana experience your power watu wako Jehovah God wana experience your glory in Jesus mighty name covenant zote mbaya tumezikata 
kikataa baba agano za kishetani hazina uwezo ndoto mbaya tumezikataa magodi ya kipepo tumeyakataa kuanzia baba kwa miguu hata baba kwa mikono baba kwa macho we decree you hearing o lord wale bwana fuatilia wale bwana tukuje kufuatilia baadaye lakini baba wanaumia lakini baba wanangangana but i declare your power to manifest i declare your presence to manifest i declare your anointing to manifest o lord tionyesha baba usiku leo tionyesha baba kwa taifa tionyesha baba kwa familia tionyesha baba kwa ndoa in jesus mighty name o Tangaza baba ufalme wako unatawala ufalme wako baba unatawala ni wewe kuhani mkuu ni wewe mwana kondoo wa Mungu ni wewe simba wa Yuda the ancient of days oh lord ni wewe Jehovah God uliye ndani yetu bwana ni wewe umetubadilisha na umetugeuza nene hawa watu bwana wale bwana hawana nguvu pake nguvu wale bwana wameishiwa baba kawa inue tena fada we love you lord because you first loved us oh god na kazi ya msalaba ni ya maajabu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini amen 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 glory be to jesus yes karibuni sana wale ambao mmeingia na wale ambao mnaingia thank you kwa wale ambao mnashare god bless you so much asante kwa wale ambao na tag marafiki wao asante kwa wale ambao na create watch parties by the way It's very important tuko ndani ya chapter number 6 a very prophetic chapter i believe there are so many people wanapitia mambo kama haya na ndio kwa ukielewa haya mambo but they don't miss this one sababu kuna mahali tunauzia mambo ya kufana sana hapo tunaona kwamba ni ndani peke yake ambaye sasa nao ni question ace where was Sadrach and Meshach and Abednego remember still in Daniel chapter number 3 kuko ni Sadrach and Meshach and Abednego Daniel was not there Get that. But now in chapter number 6, Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego they are not there. We have Daniel alone. Mark that. So ni vyema sana ku understand kuna lesson ambayo utapata mahali pale. Angalia nao Daniel chapter number 6 and verse number 1. Wale ambao walitufuata last time tuliangalia kwamba vile Bethsaida aliuliwa the same night alipewa wani alipewa opportunity ya kutubwa akakataa kusema kwamba akauliwa na Darius na from there Darius akawa na tawara na kile kina nijenga although <laughs> ufalme umebadilika listen nataka unielewe hapa maana kuanzia Daniel chapter number 6 it is no longer Babylon nielewe hapa nao sio Babylon inatawara kuanzia Daniel chapter number 6 It is meat and passion. Dio wanatawara sasa. Ni vyema kuona sana meko pashia. So kitu cha God kimeondolewa. Sasa kile kinatawara ni mabega na breasts. Silver. It is meko pashia. That's why kuna Darius meats. Wakuwa na Cyrus pashia ndio wanatawara. So although Babylon imeshindwa. Kile kinanijenga ile verse 1. Bila somo namba gani? It priest da- Darius to appoint 120 straps to rule throughout the kingdom. Imagine, sasa ni Darius after could defeat Bethsaida, after could defeat Babylon. Sasa Darius wa meet ni ameanza kuongoza kila mahali sasa taka unitege binasema kwamba wakati ametukua ushukani akona ni vyema sana atague watu 120 i thank god for this akona kwamba ni vyema atague viongozi wake unajua kwamba kile kiongozi akikalia kiti lazima atague watu mao wanafaa wakuwe pamoja na wao so that's why Darius alipokalia kiti akaona kwamba the only way out ni atague watu ambao wanamfaa Now listen to this verse number 2 maha with the three administrators over them get that so wataguliwa watu 120 then kuna na three administrators ambao watakuwa juu ya hawa hey taka taka tuelewana hapa eh hey, mara tunakuja hapo <laughs> very interesting sorry ya maana sana na kunisikize na wewe hapa Then Bible na sema namna gani with three administrators over them three administrators over them one of whom was Daniel don't miss this one one of whom was Daniel very important ha ha so kile kinanijenga ni hapa ya kwamba Darius amesema tugue watu 120 
alafu atague watu watatu ambao watakuwa na wa administrator wa wale 120 and the bible says kati ya wale watatu nisikize with the three administrators over them one of whom was daniel so daniel si kuchaguliwa tu kwa 120 Dani alichaguliwa kati ya wale watatu. Hebu imagine favor na wafalme. Can you hear this? Favor na wafalme. Hata yule ambaye amekuja kuwalia kiti, ameona amepata favor na huyo na wale wengine wakichaguliwa hata yeye akachaguliwa. Let me declare this. It is my prayer after hearing this someone yakombo utakuwa favor na wakubwa in Jesus mighty name utakuwa favor na bosses in the name of Jesus Christ utakuwa favor na managers katika jina la Yesu Kristo remember huyu ni Daniel amepitia wafalme wengi sana sasa iko mkuja mfalme wa meats ame defeat hey but it's other but it's still Daniel ni mzee madiat ni mzee anaerekea 90 years across almost 85 there na bado anashaguliwa anapata favor bado anapewa cheo it is my prayer after this word out of ikatari when she does my name i declare offices ikufuate offices ikutafute wakubwa wakutafute daniel akupeleka precious no the grace of god upon him ili kuinafanya chaguliwe akachaguliwa kati ya watu watatu administrators yet akapewa cheo kama administrator sio tu 120 no kama administrator kati ya wale ambao ni watatu that's we call the favor of god it is my prayer so ni heaven may you operate with his favor ah sir emil may you operate with his favor anybody hearing my voice kwa ndiye siku leo if god miskize i repay a favor daniel and daniel was not born again what about you and you're born again out of ikataliwa you have this grace ya kukubalika case closed mm-hmm. can you hear that i declare may you operate with the grace of god and then your favor Natangaza kila ofisi kukubali, kila biashara ikukubali. He he, wakubwa wa kukubali. That's it. Bali nasema namna gani? Ni Daniel amekalia kiti. Bali hata kikalia kiti amechagua Daniel na amempea cheo cha juu kati ya watu wamoni watatu. That's we call favor. Favor inakupea cheo cha juu. Favor inakutoa chini. Favor inakuconnect na watu wamoja hata mjuani. Get that? Daniel hawajuani na Darius. But still, ameona anafaa. Maybe he is scared story of Daniel. Vida na interpret dreams. Maybe he is scared. Ata ama interpret mena mena tekel. Akapokea favor, akapewa cheo. This is a favor I'm talking tonight. It be a favor bwana itangaza. Wakati baba amekupea favor, it doesn't matter mna bishara na kina nani. Talk about Esther. Ambaye ametajwa hapo na bwana agonia tukuje kumtabua. Imagine. What happened to Esther? Gadis. Esther yeye mwenyewe ekira mahali alikuwa anaenda anapata favor. Anapata favor na Hegai. Anapata favor na Ahasuerus. Amari kuja kumuoa. Imagine. Favor. Favor. Na lakunisikize very important. Na kaja kupata mtoto mmoja baya anaitwa na kuja kuonyesha anaitwa nani? Maana ni muhimu sana. Wana sana maana yake history inasema kwamba alikuja kupata mtoto mmoja Esther alikuwa anaitwa Darius 2 not Darius 1. <laughs> ah marako zobo shanda bariva sana. Listen to this. God is God of favor. <laughs> na kukupea favor Bible says favor is a shield you are protected so amefanywa kati ya wale watu watatu wakubwa administrators si kwa sababu ameomba no it is a favor of god si kwa sababu amesema apewe cheo no it is a favor of god si ati kwa sababu hakukua na watu wengine ambao ni wazuri kumuliko kulikuwa na wao bali favor haiangalii hivyo favor inakufungulia milango nataka watu 100 hapa wanasema kwamba i receive that favor let me tell you baba kipea your business favor aha unaweza fanya for three days 
Miskize, three days. Oh my God. Let me declare this. One note of God can change your whole life. Baba kitigize kitu atake. Asema kwa mapata favor. Uneza pata pesa within one day. Ziri uneza nanana bila favor. Ten years. That's it. Baba kikupia favor within one day. Uneza pata pesa. <laughs> Ile hawezi pata in your whole life without the favor of God. Baro shalama randa riko zebekanda bazoi mushana i know kuna watu ambao after this wata operate na favor of god i know kuna watu ambao after this they will enjoy the favor of god hey shalama ba listen to me favor 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 mm. get this once you put a favor i remember kuna time nisikiza a story ya TD Jakes alikuwa amengangana miaka mingi sana na kanisa yake haikuwa inakuwa until one day wakati alikuwa anahubiri mahari <laughs> mkubwa wa TBN that time akaenda kamsikiza imagine na kampia tu kidogo tu kampia tu kidogo tu apitisho tu kwa hubiri yake kidogo tu mahali pale kuanzia hapo tatiri shift kuanzia wale members 15 paka 10000 favor alipata tu favor do you know kuna zapata favor i remember kuna sister moja alinipia testimony akaniambia kwamba siku moja alienda kwa, kwa bank na kwa mahali pale kwa kukutana na mtu mkubwa sana wa serikali na hawajuani akamsalimia akapata favor na yule mkubwa akamuuliza nini anafanya wakajuana akamwambia niendee na masomo yake in fact yule sister aliniambia kwamba yule mtu alimlipia 600,000 amaliza university imagine na hawajuani na mpaka wa leo hajui alienda wapi walikutana that day na mpaka wa leo hawajawahi kutana tena but alimlipia 600000 amaliza university why favor of god si kwa sababu alikuwa na juana si kwa sababu alijipeana kwa yule mtu it is a favor favor inaweza kuinua kala la 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 favor inaweza simamisha paka chochote unangangana nacho Soma kwa Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I wish I had time to talk about favor man like one, one of these days talking about the favor of God. Oh, shala babu za karama. Ah, mtumisho Mungu asangaedo. Imagine favor ikianguka siato. Ai 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 ai. Baba anaweza kusupply so. Mimi nasema na maana gani? Sikizi hapa. Very important. Very important. Aye karomo shanaomo says with the three administrators over them so kuna watu 120 wamechaguliwa na kati ya watu 120 kukachaguliwa watatu wa kuwa administrators na kati wala watatu ni administrators mmoja wao ni guka guka daniel <laughs> ah guka daniel <laughs> Guka Daniel ni mzee but is still in a favor imagine mzee but is still in a favor na don't miss this now look at this follow me closely the bible says <laughs> the the satraps were made accountable to them so that the king might not suffer loss so our watu wabani wa 20 walikuwa accountable to these three administrators Daniel ni wao walikuwa naangalia hawa watu 20 haya woo shalaba boda Daniel na ukumbuka nani ambaye anamuinua au ambaye anamuinua ni Darius ni Darius <laughs> ah that's what we call favor mtu aita 5 years na bado anapata favor ya kazi <laughs> Mtu wa taifa vias na bado anapata cheo cha juu. Felix can you hear this? Baba kiupea favor. Hata ukiuza mashamba unaweza uzia ay 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 ay. What within one day what was took? <laughs> Angalia next verse. Verse number 3. Verse number 3. The Bible says now Daniel. I like that. Now Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators 
Imagine, hii alikuwa tofauti. Hey, hey. Wako watatu administrators. Marikati hao watu watatu administrators. Yeye ni tofauti na wao. Woo. It is my prayer. May there be distinction between you na watu ambao wanafanya biashara na wao. May there be distinction between you na watu ambao mko kwa office na wao. May there be distinction, come on. Woo! between you na watu ambao mko na wao. The Bible says alikuwa distinguished, alikuwa ni tofauti. That's what the Bible says. Now Daniel so distinguished himself, a man a man get this a man the administrators nikskize aya ni tofauti na 3d men administrators na 120 aya ni tofauti kuna distinction akiangalia na hawa watu watatu aya ni tofauti there is a line baba do a line yesu wako watatu But there's a rain. And I want to declare this and mark this. Maraka is in the Bible. By the same come by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. Ha ha ha. Paka king akaona kwamba yeye ni tof and qualities hazika zina wala wengine. Princess Queen can you hear this? And the qualities has it gone all again? Do you know? Remember what Obama could for today you understand? He had the spirit of excellence. But can I tell you something? Kwa nini kulikuwa na tofauti? Kwa nini Mungu alileta tofauti kati ya Daniel na watu hao wengine? And I want to declare this. I brief for kat kuna COVID. Baba taleta utofauti. Hey, this that said more agony that said Daniel Alcomus powerful. Ha ha ha. La sharama, listen to this. Anafanywa mpaka hata Daniel sakamwangalia, akaona huyu ni tofauti. Lazima mfanye. Kwa maana kuna na qualities alikuwa nazo, haziko na wale wengine. Ah, may you have those qualities. Wale wengine mkiangaliwa ni ya kwamba ah, come on, come on. Huyu ni tofauti. Luce ni tofauti. Nims ni tofauti. Mkiangaliwa mahali mnakaa hata kwa prot, wewe ni tofauti. Why? Una qualities. Andaria Marakae 3. Follow me closely Malachi chapter number 3. <laughs> Malachi chapter number 3. Follow me now. Malachi chapter number 3. Malachi chapter number 3. I like this. Don't miss this one Malachi 3. Lo shakatara mamoze kere mayanda. Malachi chapter number 3 verse number 18. Malachi 3 verse number 18. Tag your friend mwambie kuje. Malachi 3 verse number 18. Malachi 3 verse number 18. The Bible says what? And you will see ah Jesus Christ. Are you there? Malachi chapter number 3 verse number 18 Malachi 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 3 verse number 18. The Bible says and you will again see Hey, buranda. Let me start verse number 17 you understand. Ah, uh, uh, let me let me start from verse number 16. Here you flow. But the key verse in 18. Key verse in 18. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other. Ha ha. And the Lord listened and heard. Wale ambao wanamwogopa Mungu wakaanza kusema sana. Maana kwa watu ambao wanamwogopa Mungu hawanyamazi. Wakaanza kusema sana wako wao. Na Mungu akasikiza na akasikia. <laughs> And then the Bible says what? A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. Wakati waliongea, Mungu akachukua kitabu in heaven. Akadika watu ambao hey wanamuogopa and they honor his name follow me verse 17 they will be mine says the lord almighty okay in the day when i make up my treasured possession okay i will spare them just as i as in compassion a man spares his son who serves him mark verse 18 Mark verse 18 and you will again and 
and you will again okay see the distinction you will again see the distinction okay between the righteous and the wicked can you hear this mungu anasema kwamba you see again distinction between the righteous and the wicked meaning mungu analeta distinction between watakatifu na wale ambao si watakatifu can you listen to me anybody hearing to my voice and you are righteous mungu anaongea anaweka distinction anaweka distinction between those who are righteous and those who are wicked okay angalia and those who serve god and, and those who do not so mungu hana like a distinction between what righteous na what wicked between wale ambao na msaf na wale ambao hawasaf do you serve god and as someone like a distinction and i thank god and i believe go the reason why there was a distinction between daniel and others because daniel are going to serve god Arosha marabo zete karama zanda na baba kiweka distinction nisikize remember amesema ana kitabu ameandika wakumbukwe yeah anaweka distinction i want to declare distinction Woo! I want to declare distinction between what watakatifu na wale ambao si watakatifu between wale ambao wanamtumikia Mungu na wale ambao hawamtumiki may there be distinction Yes Mungu anasema kwamba na draw a line It is in the Bible That's why even the time of Daniel there was a distinction between Daniel and the servant of Mungu between Daniel and mtakatifu na wale bigini ambao si watakatifu hata time ya covid kutakuwa na distinction wakati kuna matatizo there will be a distinction between righteous and wicked why because the bible says tell the righteous it shall be well tell the righteous it shall be well And the same same Bible in the same name God the righteous may go through many troubles but the Lord will deliver him from them all so all kuna troubles but in the same kwamba watu watakatifu Mungu anawakomboa kutoka kwa those troubles all troubles why extinction can you hear me now extinction there is a rain There is a rain. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Can you hear this? There is a distinction. Listen to me, there is a distinction. I don't care how you're going through. But in the time you serve God, unaweza pitia mama ngumu, unaweza kataliwa, but is always a distinction. Kuna kamstari baba na chora. Na mungu mungu yake distinction between watoto wako na wale wa kidunia between wanako na wale wa kidunia between bibi yako na wale wa kidunia between biashara yako na wale wa kidunia distinction so kati watu righteous na wicked kati watu ambao na serve God and those who do not serve God so serving God is not in vain ah 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 can i tell you serving God is not just a regret the reason why Daniel was distinguished from others because he served God anytime you serve God with your body you serve God With you have you serve God there is always a distinction there is always a distinction ah okay okay follow me close no angalia exodus angalia exodus let me let me just declare this <laughs> i like this one now exodus 23 i know this is a prophetic word for someone this is a prophetic word for someone Exodus 23 verse number 25 Exodus 23 verse number 25 Exodus 23 verse number 25 The Bible says what worship the Lord your God 
Can you hear this? Worship the Lord your God. And his blessings will be on your food and water. Hey, hey. Worship the Lord your God. Ukimwabudu. Okay. King James in Esema. Serve the Lord. That's King James. That's King James. Serve the Lord your God. King James, I believe a comma. What a man who had a cup at a post and verse. Exodus 23, verse number 25. Serve the Lord your God. Ukim serve. Kuna baraka yake. Ina kuwa kwa chakura chako na maji yako. <laughs> then look at this. I'm going to get extinction. I'm going to get extinction. I will, I will, God himself, I will take away sicknesses among you. So when you serve God, Baba Dado Bashala Maza, when you serve God, Baba Nando sicknesses among you. So we can defeat COVID-19. We can defeat COVID-19 by serving God. Hey! You can serve God with your wealth. You can serve God with your words. Hey, I karamazoma. Serve God na your gift yako. Serve God na your gift. In your gift, may you serve God with your gifts. Mena Karababu says, them that serves God. Hey, karubo zaka. Nitabariki chakura tao. Nibariki majiao. Na nitaondoa COVID-19. Nitaondoa magojo among them katikati yao. So when you serve God, there is an extinction. If kuna magojo kwako, mama naondoa magojoa. And I declare, anybody hearing my voice, may there be a distinction. Okay, okay, look at this. And none will miscarry. None will miscarry. Distinction. Once you serve God, no miscarriages. Whether it be a shara, no miscarriages. Ah, whether ni maono, no miscarriages. Come on, there is a distinction. Ah, Israel, I'm saying there is a distinction. There will be a distinction. Arasai watu anatabika watu bomko UK may there be distinction watu bomko US may there be distinction watu bomko Moranga may there be distinction ha watu bomko Nairobi may there be distinction watu bomko Germany Doha watu bomko Israel ha watu bomko Bahrain Saudi may there be distinction why? Kwa ni mungu wanaleta utofauti. Kwa sababu wale bwana mtumikia, wale bwana ni righteous. Mungu anasema kwamba wale bwana msaf atabariki maji yao. Atabariki chakula chao. Ataondoa magonjo katikati yao. Hakuna hata miskari na hakuna atakuwa tasa. Be bare in your land. I will look, look, listen to this. I will give you a full life span. No premature death to them that serves God. A distinction. You cannot die prematurely. Can I tell you something? Let me tell you this. I brief personally. The reason why Jesus Christ was not married. <laughs> the reason why he was not married. Was he took our place. He did not marry so that you may marry. That's it. He took your place. And he took Arifanika bin Adamu. So hange o iwe mwenye uwoe. Okay, okay. So I know, I know alika mika that three. Na kakufuru purpose yake. I agree, I agree. But I still believe. Ya kuma the reason why alika still mika tate. Ni iwe mwenye usikia mika tate. Ukea mika mingi. Because he took your place. That is on why I happened to the end of the corner of it to be a kumoro, near wo siboro. That is on why I have kuwa near wo. That is on why Arika that three, near wo kai kai meaka. And mark this. And it's good to understand. Personal I brief, naguni te gay. I brief, why I seem to come here 70. Sarah. Yes. And as a mere pastor, but when we say motoka seventy, come on, read that verse, Psalms ninety. 
who wrote Psalms 90 Moses The Bible says ukisoma hapo there is no way Mungu alisema 70 years Ah There is no way Mungu alisema 70 years hapo juu Mungu alikuwa amekasirika kwa ajili ya tabi na iniquities That's why alisema kwamba watu wataka 70 80 kutabika sana na yule ambaye aliandika ni Moses e, inaitwa Psalm Psalm of Moses Then can I ask you this Moses who was at the law, not at the grace kama kevas <laughs> Alika 70 The Bible says Moses said 120 na not only that alika 120 na macho yake haikupotea If under the law macho haipotei under the law what about under grace I declare wewe siyo miaka 70 hiyo miaka 70 ni kwa sababu ya tambi hiyo miaka 70 ni kwa sababu kulikuwa na iniquities and then Jesus Christ on the cross Psalm 53 alibeba my iniquities I remember the bizangu come on meaning if I remember the bizangu kile kilikuwa kinagawa miaka kina ah dhambi zinaondolewa in Christ sina dhambi nisikize in Christ sina dhambi case closed i'm righteous i am the righteousness of god now there is on why Woo! Hey, shalaba bo naganda. Zay magote keze be shalama la. Listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> this is sweet. Ali baba iniquity is na sin. Amo ilikuwa imefanya pana kasirike sema 70. And that's why in proverb, bila sema kwamba wale watakatifu wataongezewa miaka. Hey! Wale watakatifu wataongezewa miaka. Can you hear that? Then let me surprise you. The Bible says nimemwambia hapa we stop in a mikono miwili. We stop in a mkono wa kushoto na mkono wa kulia. Na mkono wa kushoto <laughs> imebeba riches and honor. Okay? Na mkono wa kulia imebeba long life. That's wisdom. And the Bible says Christ is the wisdom of God. Okay now if Christ is the wisdom of God na wisdom ina mikono miwili mmoja ni long life right wrong life left riches and honor meaning Christ akija kwangu mkoni ki enjoy mkono wa kulia aisha magota rama zeta niki enjoy mkono wa kulia na mimi ni mtoto mkono wa kulia so do you know what I enjoy long life Nasu promise moja ya ku serve God baba na weka extinction hata kwa maisha yako utafulfill span yako au uta die before your time hata wakuroge hata kukuwa na covid 19 hata kukuwa na hiv hata kukuwa na cancer baba kuweka extinction cancer is nothing before God Cancer is nothing in the presence of God. Cancer is nothing in the presence of God. Can I tell you something? Okay, okay. Listen to this. Listen to this. Uh, the Bible says Abraham alika miaka ngapi? 175 years. Okay. Alafu bibi yake Sara alika 127 years. Unajua mara mingi sana wanawake miaka haiku inatajwa kwa bible watu huyu ametajwa 127 years magdat eh and ibrahim aka 175 years msikize nao then then isaac aka 108 years isaac na bibi nasema kwamba we are children of abraham by faith na 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 na, na, na watoto wa ibrahim wanakaa 180 Watoto wa Ibrahim wanakaa 180. So tafadhali if uko na plan kuniroga change your mind. I cannot die. I have an assignment. As long as sijamaliza assignment nitakaa hapa. Nitatoka hapa nikimaliza assignment. Case close. Na as long as I'm here there will be an extinction. Yes. No acha nitangazie watu ambao wanafanya biashara. I want to declare now hapa bila uoga may there be extinction as long as you serve God. Kutokuwa na tofauti. Daniel alikuwa na utofauti na wale wengine. 
Mungu aliweka utofauti. Ana qualities alikuwa nazo. Wale wengine hata wakingangana hawawezi. Why? Mungu aliweka that distinction. Okay. Let me go deeper here. Let me go deeper. Angalia. Exodus. Oh makoza balosha la malando. Exodus chapter number 8. Exodus chapter number 8. May this be your prophetic word tonight. Halako za bashanda Exodus chapter number 8. Na baada hatujaanza mahubiri manake bado tuna tuna lay the foundation eh. We are laying the foundation. We are laying the foundation now. Exodus chapter don't miss this one. Exodus chapter number 8 and verse number 22. Tafadhali post for us that verse. Post for us that verse. Galalele kalalabo shalababana Exodus 822 <laughs> My God Jesus kama hii maji hapa ninakunywa mimi nasema kwamba ukisave God Mungu anabariki hiyo maji <laughs> Yes but ana gundi it is only sara miaka yake imekuwa recorded there was a distinction <laughs> Angalia Exodus 8 Two to Exodus 8 to the Bible says this. Look at this. Everybody receive look at this. The Bible says but but on that day. Woo! La cosa bayanda. But on that day I will deal. I will deal. I will deal. Can you hear this? On that day may that day be today for you. I say may that day be today for you. May that day be th- today for you. <laughs> Now Moses says, but on that day, but on that day, I will deal differently. Can you hear this my screen? Now Moses says, on that day, I will deal differently with the land of Goshen. <laughs> the children of Israel they are in Egypt. Na kuna plagues mapigo yale 10. Yanazidi sasa kuachiliwa pale in Egypt. Bali kuna kitu ambacho Mungu aliongea. Akasema kwa watu ambao wako Goshen, my people. Watu ambao they are covered by the covenant. Maneke Israel right we are covered by the Abrahamic covenant. Mungu alikuwa amesema na maneno ya kwamba hao watu wataenda pale in slavery for 400 years. Then after that I will deliver them with great possession. And then maybe na someone magani before I could delivered kuna zile ten plagues I remember kila plague ilikuwa ni defeat ya miungu yao kila plague ilikuwa inasimamia miungu ya Egypt bar kuna mungu time waliongea akasema kwamba wakati haya mapigo yanakuja akasema kwamba ata deal na land of goshen kitofauti vile na dina hao wengine ata deal kitofauti different right are you this is the same same words mungu anaongea ata deal differently na watu wake ata deal differently na watu ambao ni product ya covenant i'm talking of distinction ata deal differently Ah, ni akina nani? Why Goshen? Why specifically Goshen? Maana kwa tobo kuna ka Goshen Israelite. Na Israelite walikuwa ni product ya covenant. They were covered by Abrahamic covenant. So because of that covenant, Mungu ana deal. Tofauti. Ana deal kitofauti. Ana weka distinction. Listen to this. Can I tell you? Because of the covenant of the cross there will be always a distinction because of the covenant of the cross there will be distinction ah that's why and i said to mwa kongo shen get this what ni kumalizia wa understand but one day i will do differently with the other goshen where my people live no swarm of flies okay or no swarm of flies weka covid Okay odoa some of five pare uh, weka cancer okay odoa hiyo weka malaria weka arthritis okay weka tumors pare hey hakutakuwa hey. na some of fries those fries in as a covid covid-19 ah gisio those fries zinaweza kuwa kae shakara ni tb come on those fries zinaweza kuwa ni rejection ai those fries zinaweza kuwa ni umaskini 
<laughs> Nataka nitangaze baba akiweka distinction kuna fries zitaonekana kwa neighbor but hazija kuja hazija kuja kwako maana kuna karai Look at this So that so that so that you will know that I am the Lord I'm 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 excuse I'm in his land Now Mark verse 23 Post for us verse number 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 23 listen to this post for us verse number 23 the bible says i will god is talking i will verse number 23 i will i will i will mako zabanda garido kanda risho magari mazende gariza kanda i will god is saying i will make a distinction Verse number 23 I will make a distinction between my people and your people I will make a distinction between my people and your people this miraculous signs will or this miraculous sign will occur tomorrow <laughs> Woo, Jesus May there be a distinction. So next day ilipofika tomorrow. Ah, kwa watu wengine, kwa Egyptians. Hizi zilikuwa zimejaa. But kwa Goshen, hey, kwa Goshen, let me tell you, sisi ni watu wa go, Goshen. Okay. Uh, uh, actually sisi ni watu wa <laughs> natafuta wadi ya kuweka hapo sisi ni watu wa bonu wa Goshen okay let me go deeper here you see you see the word Goshen is a very interesting word manaka the hebrew meaning of word Goshen is to draw near can you hear near so to draw near so Goshen means to draw near okay so watu wa moko Goshen ni watu wa moko walio wako But now sasa tuna tofauti na wale. Maana in the Old Testament you are supposed to draw near to God. But now in the new covenant God drew near to us. Near to heaven akaja kwetu. Are we together? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Can you hear this? What we go share? Bible inasema hivi <laughs> oh mujiza utatendeka kuanzia tomorrow so mungu kusema alikuwa anasema kwamba starting from tomorrow kutakuwa na distinction how you understand what I'm doing hapo starting from tomorrow kutakuwa na distinction how you understand nasema kwamba starting from tomorrow oh gosh Ah shamago ravasandi bushala ba Come on Mungu asema kwamba starting from tomorrow anaweka extinction I declare may that be a portion Ah So imagine so Goshen means to draw near and to us Jesus Christ alikuja kwetu Okay. That's why in Genesis 2, mimi nasema kwamba mwanaume ataacha kwao. Okay. Akuje watapatanishwa na bibi. If you look closely in Genesis 2, bibi haja bi watoke kwao. Aha. Bibi amekuja kwa bibi watoke kwao in the book of Matthew. But in Genesis 2, yule bibi anatoka kwao na acha wazazi ni mzee. But bibi haja bi anaacha kwao in that verse. Because that verse was prophetic. That's why Paul akielezea that verse in Ephesians 5 verse number 30. Alikuwa anasema kwamba that was a mystery. Hiyo verse was a mystery. Na ilikuwa inaongea juu ya Christ and church. Okay, ya kwamba Christ is a man. Church is a woman. That's why church haikutoka kwa wazazi. But Christ alitoka kwa father. Christ alitoka heaven akaja kwa bibi chat kwa dunia wanaugenishwa hapa kwa dunia 
Maana kani yeye alitukaribia sio sisi tulimkaribia. Ni yeye alitufuta sio sisi tulimtafuta. Are you hearing me? So God should me to draw near but on our part. The Bible says God was in Christ reconciling the world. God was in Christ reconciling. It is not us. It was God in Christ reconciling the world. Meaning in Christ we are reconciled with reconciled with God. In Christ Christ is a meeting point. Maneke God was in Christ. And God in Christ was reconciling the world. Hey, and I am in Christ. So, in Christ, nime reconcile na Mungu. In Christ is a meeting point. In Christ I am one with God. So, nia alikuja. So, watu wa Goshen. Eh, shakaro bozete. Watu wa Goshen. Eh, rakona. Yes, Felix says yes, that is. Hebu weke next verse. Watu wa Goshen skize there will be an extinction. Maroka zibo shali maranda. Are you listening to me? There will be an extinction. Watu wa Goshen kwamba Mungu alikuja. Na wakonia si kwa sababu mwajiretania no. Kwa sababu ameletwa nia. Is good to understand this. Hawezi jireta. Karibu na Mungu hawezi, hawezi. That's why Isaiah inasema namna gani kile kilichotutaganisha na Mungu separation was seen. And Jesus alikuja si kufunika dhambi akaja kuondoa tambi. So kile kilitanganisha kevas na Mungu kiliondolewa. So between kevas na Mungu hakuna separation because kile kileta separation kime disappear. And that's why mimi nasema namna gani Mungu alikuwa ameficha uso wake usionekane. But now in the new covenant Christ is a face of God. Ah, are you listening to me now? In the Old Testament, how are you on the face of God? Because Dambi, Dambi ilikuwa na watanganisha. But Jesus Christ alikuja kaondoa Dambi na kaziripia. Then he has a face of God. So once you have Christ, you have the face of God. Once you have seen Christ, you have seen God. Maneka there is no difference between Jesus and God because Jesus is God. <laughs> Jesus is a face of God. Jesus is a face of the Father. Jesus and I to everlasting Father. I will say Jesus no father. <laughs> uh, between Daniel and the other administrators there was a distinction kuna qualities yalikuwa nazo azikuwa zinapatikana na anybody else kwa maana Mungu alileta utofauti hivyo ndivyo huwa anafanya na hivyo ndivyo amefanya and follow me and understand this manake we are going deeper now we are in Daniel chapter number 6. Paka mfalme akona kwamba zile qualities ako nazo lazima atamfanya mkubwa kingdom second from yeye. Imagine. Woo shakona garanda ga. Woshili mazakiri muzakili mazaya. Leko zikarama shana. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you mtumishi Mungu. That, that's what the Bible says. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Where do we see the love of God? On the cross. Jesus loved you. Wakati ulikuwa still a sinner. That's it. Even before you were born, alikupenda. And let me surprise you. Hakupendi kwa maana hautendi tambi. No. Anakupenda ara before uokoke. That is why umeokoka. It is because of his love. It's good to understand this now. I want to declare there will be a distinction. Maneke watu wa Goshen walikuwa distinction. 
na wewe ni wa Goshen already unatoni oh, you are not only near can, can I tell you you are not only near but you are in Christ umekaribia yeye you are one in spirit Bible says we are one in spirit with Christ you are one so watu ambao wako near kuna distinction watu ambao na serve God kuna distinction Daniel there was a distinction because of that let's go deeper now and not because of that the other demonstrators na wale wengine wakamwonea wivu it is my prayer wacha wakuonee wivu but ukue sasa kuna distinction woo ah rakoza ready with can you hear this I believe this is a word for someone tonight. I believe this is a prophetic word for someone tonight. Baba naweka distinction kwako. May there be distinction between your marriage na marriage za watu wale wengine. May there be distinction between uibaji wako na uibaji wa watu wale wengine. May there be distinction between the way you pray and the way they pray. May there be distinction between the way you behave and the way they behave. Down is kize. Because Christianity is not about behavior modification. Christianity is about receiving life insight, then that life insight in a corporate outside. So when people see you, they see the life in you. Who is the life in you? The life in you is Christ. So they see Christ in you. Man I come upon my receive Christ who is life in you. Then now life in you Christ ananza kutokea nje. You receive divine nature and all that divine nature inaanza kuonekana nje. You are not trying to change yourself. No. No. It's good to understand that. You are a son. Case closed. A serving son. You are not a servant. I'm a heart yes no. You are a son. Son. I'm a serving heart. Case closed. Sela. So wale bomu kwa na uoga, ondo uoga, there will be a distinction. Taka ni kuangalia hapa angalia next verse. Now the Bible says what? Very interesting. Mina sama kwa this the administrators and satraps the Bible sama kwa try to find ground for charges against Daniel in his conduct of government affairs but they were unable to do so Walizimu kumstack kuna kwamba watapata tu makosa wapi kwenye affairs za government Hey kama vile kwa imagine Mungu akupea favor na kukuwa na distinction Lazima kuna watu watakuinukia Let me let me just tell you this kuna watu ambao watakuenvy. Yes. Uh, let me just be frank to you. Hautawahi pendwa na watu wote na usiwahi tamani kupendwa na watu kwa sababu hautawahi pendwa na watu wote. That's it. That's it. Hautawahi pendwa na watu wote. Even Saul, tayari alifanyika king. Na mimi nasema kwamba kuna watu ambao Mungu aliguza mio yao ili wamlete gift wa support. Mbali kuna watu ambao they were trouble makers trouble makers wali baki so now the question is if Mungu alikuwa anaguza mioyo yao mbona hakuguza mioyo ya watu wote maana hangeguza mioyo ya watu wote no kuna watu ambao watakusupport kuna watu ambao watakuingilia hey kuna watu ambao watafurahishwa na kile ambacho unafanya kuna watu ambao watakuona na kutema mate that's not a problem to you auto ai pendo na watu wote and i always say friends are in levels marafiki wako in levels you need to understand si kila mtu si kila mtu ah kwa maana mnafanya biashara na yeye unafikiri na kupenda this way administrator ni skize maana sema at this the administrators imagine watu wa bond 122 wana gather against one 120 plus two how administrators 122 wana gather against one wanafanya kazi pamoja 
Baadhi ya Guinness Daniel. Kuna watu mtafanya biashara waoge komba. Baadhi ya Guinness you. Hey, hey, hey. Kuna watu ambao mnafanya nao kazi US, mara wana livu. Ah, chama. That's it. Walimwonea wivu wakaanza kutafuta tajis ili atolewe kwenye kiti yake. Imagine. Mara hizo ngo There is a distinction. <laughs> Niko the favor of God. You cannot fight the favor of God. Look at us. The Bible says so they could not <laughs> because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt, neither corrupt. I wish kuna Daniel huku. <laughs> I wish kuna Daniel huku kwenye nation mtu ambaye sasa hata cor- corruption hako hapo mimi nasema kwamba walikuwa natafuta mpaka kuna mahali kuna corruption <laughs> they could not find no they, they could find no corruption no corruption imagine no corruption hapa watu wengi hapa hapa wanaweza aguka hata wa kristo hapa kwa corruption mmm mimi nasema kwamba no corruption in him because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor Can you hear that? Take a stand up. No corruption. He was trustworthy. Can I ask you something? Are you trustworthy? What about us? Are you trustworthy in business? Imagine. Walitafuta mahali utamshikia, hawakuweza kumpata. Let me go deeper here. Hawakumpata. Mara hii kwa hivyo <laughs> and give us five finally this man said this man said we will never fight any base for charges against this man daniel unless unless it has something to do with the law of his god i like that i like that what is mgoma to keep the foot of his jeans in gini atwe zimpata Ukimtafuta kwa mtu utamkuta na msichana au utampata na msichana. Ana ukimtumia msichana bado ata manage. <laughs> Atu kijaribu kutuma watu pale akuwe kwa pesa hakuna. But the only way out unaweza mpata. Ni anything 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 inahusu sheria ya Mungu wake. Ene dina husu mambo ya Mungu wake tunaweza mpata hapo. Tuki ukitaka kumpata mpata kwa Mungu wake. Thank God for that. A very very strong statement. Very strong statement. Tunaweza mpata kwa mambo ya Mungu. Let me ask you something. If ni wewe leo Sara Emily. Watu wanaweza sema kwamba tukitaka tukitaka kupata Sara Emily. Tumushike vizuri sana muigirie na mambo ya Mungu. Mazait. Kila na mambo ya Mungu. Wengine wategea na pesa, wategea hapa tu na pesa. Wategea tu hapa na pesa utaona. Ukiwategea tu na pesa hapa, utawashika hivi. Eh. Hata ukuwategea na herufu moja tu, wameisha. Wameisha. Wasan wangapo wameisha kiroho. Kwa maana ili ajiriwe walilana boss. Walilana na boss. Ndio kumbe kila na boss there's a sex covenant we make there's a sort I we make there's a sex altar we may raise na itabidi that altar we sacrifice kila time na kusacrifice kwa that altar ni kwa na boss again akona ku 310 you need to do it again maana kwa that altar ina cream and another sacrifice ya yeah, your body Usiri na mtu pata job. Hi. Hello. Praise God. Are you together? That's it. Woo! Hey. So tunaweza mpata tu kwa Mungu yake. Mambo ya Mungu tu tunaweza mpata nayo. Imagine. Imagine mwana hawa watu wanamuingilia mbili walikuwa na corrupt sana. <laughs> so ni here imagine. Eh? 
Ai! Ai! Sasa let me ask you this eh? Na usijibu. Wewe ukitafutwa unaweza patikana wapi? Unaweza kuna watu ambao kitaka kuwapata. Wategea na pobe. Mwashika. Wategea na wai. Ara sasa iko na watu ambao wanasikiza. Na wana pombe kwa nyumba. Tutegea na hiyo. Yeah. And you're born again. How can you be born again? That's not the nature of God. Maybe either you're not born again or you're not sure. Maana like if you're born again, you have the nature of God. Na ile nature ya Mungu kuna mambo itakukataza. Tazee, haitakubarisha uvute sigara nature ya Mungu. No 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 no. Haitakubarisha ufanye masturbation. Haitakubarisha raise your busy by the way. Haitakubarisha mambo ya gazing. Na sio nguru kama kuna watu wanatudanganya hata kwamba eh kuna mtu alipiga simu akaniambia pasta nimezaliwa na hii kitu mimi tama yangu ni ya wanaume come on we are men this is a spirit it is a demon gaze is a demon ukiona kama unatamani si sababu nyingine za demon hello ah to me sina hisia sina hisia za za wanaume mimi nataka wadada wenzangu mfanye nini na wadada wenzangu <laughs> and that's why there are so many people today even in marriages unakuta kwamba mtu mtu ameoa bado umeshindwa na ile sehemu nzuri unaweza kushughulikia nyuma come on this is a demon from hell how can you shughulikia nyuma Shh, that's a demon Listen and hear me now. Righteousness leads to holiness. Righteousness leads to holiness. Righteousness leads to holiness. Righteousness is right standing. Holiness is right living. There is no way you can right live unless you right stand. Once you have the right standing because of God, once you have faith, once you believe there is a resurrection of Jesus Christ and you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, You are righteous you have the right standing with God. Now that right be standing in a fanya we mwenyewe. Ah. Ah. Ukua hori. Walimtafuta hawagempata. Wanaweza mpata tu kwa Mungu. It is my prayer. Watu wakikutafuta wakupate kwa Mungu. It is my prayer. Watu wakikutafuta wakupate kwa Mungu. It is my prayer. Watu wakikutafuta karasha magarobi zeke tara mayanda hello somebody hey usikubali kutumua na nyuma wa mama ambao mnanisikiza wasana ambao mnanisikiza nyuma wachana nayo Yes queen yes my queen it is a god that god that tomorrow to give to give Daniel 7 to one Daniel 7 mama mama tu kutambua revelation tunayetambua kuanzia tomorrow Daniel chapter number 7 the for the priests that's it ah hapo goza na nyamaza <laughs> We are born of the seed of God. Remember see them them that are, that are born of God. How and they could tend them be maneke you born of God. Then sin is no longer your master. You are no longer a slave to sin. You are, you are under grace not under law. Na kile kina empower them who says the power of sin is the law. Na as long as you're not under the law you're the grace sin haina power kwako maana the power of sin is raw and you are delivered from the law because Christ fulfilled the law and Christ is the end of the law to introduce another covenant and another law the law of love <laughs> ah. Can you hear this? I like kile nasoma hapa. Wakaona kwamba naweza mpata kwa mambo ya Mungu. Na angalia vile Bible inasema. <laughs> My good God, I like this. Now so the administrators <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Administrators and satraps sababu nasema kwamba went as group to the king and said oh king Darius live forever wakaenda kwa mfalme kumstaki kwa mfalme maana kuna watu ambao mpaka wa leo watakustaki kwa wakubwa huwezo wakiusa the law accuses us satan is our accuser and that's why don't ever row don't ever row satan to accuse you stand with the finished work of the cross walina kwanza kaambia darius live forever then bible nasema namna gani look at this verse 9 the royal <laughs> administrators prefects satraps Advisors, governors have all agreed that the king should issue an edict and enforce the decree that anyone who prays to any any god or man during the next thirty days except to you O king shall be thrown into the lion's den wakatoa sheria wakapanga wakatoa wakadamana wakiwa wote sio ni ministerate tu waka, waka involve mpaka prefect here paka governors and advisors wako conspire wakaenda wakasema kwamba 30 days tunaweza pata Daniel kwa maombi na hapa lazima tumtoe kwa hii kiti hata kuwa mkubwa wetu hapa lazima tumtoe tumtoe namna gani yeye ni mwobaji sana tutampata kwa maombi. Woo! Hey, shalalala. Ah, yeye ni mwabaji. Ah! Rico Zabagana. Tumpata kwa maombi, unasema kwamba now with the next that days. Hakuna mtu ambaye ataomba Mungu mwingine. Lazima wewe Darius uombe. 30 minutes watu wa kuombe. That that days watu wa kuombe. Anybody ambaye hataomba wewe awe kwenye tundu la simba Yes awekwe kwa simba den of lions auliwe asipoomba wewe So walikuwa wanajua kwamba Daniel hawezi fanya hivyo na tunaweza mshikia hapa walikuwa wamejua kwamba ni mkiongozi ni mkubwa ni administrator ambaye anaomba Let me tell you Oh rashe magarama may you be a, a governor who prays hey, hey. may you be a manager who prays may you be a ceo ambaye anaomba daniel alikuwa ni administrator bali alikuwa ni mwabaji atakuwa cheo ya juu second from the king bado alikuwa anaomba That's a key. That's a key. He was communicating with God. Maneke prayer, ni communicating with God. He was still communicating with God. Although ana pesa, although ni mkubwa, although ni tajiri, although ana cheo. Still alikuwa naomba. Show me mtu ambaye haombi. Kuonyesha mtu ambaye hana kiroho. Samuel alisema kwamba kutoomba ni dhambi anapatikana kwa maombi. What about you sister? Unaweza patikana kwa maombi. Walikuwa naweka ya kwamba kuombwe mfalme. Kwa maana walikuwa wanajua Daniel vile wanamchua, hawezi yomba mfalme. Lazima watamshika sasa kwa maombi. Ah, my good God. Listen to this now. Manaka this is sweet. This is sweet. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Are we still together umeenda? <laughs> Don't go. Stay there. We are going deeper here. Wacha tunuweka tu maji hapa alafu niendeni kuambia kitu. Wewe bwana unanisikiza? Kwa maana najua kwamba utatajirika. Can you hear that statement? Najua kwamba utatajirika. Najua wewe mwenyewe utakuwa na kampuni zako. Najua wewe mwenyewe utakuwa na gari zako. Najua wewe mwenyewe utakuwa mkubwa wewe kwa mkubwa baya naomba Yes kwa mkubwa baya naomba mkubwa ambaye naomba Yes now look at this Aha. I like that one Listen to this now then Ah 
Now, O king, issue the decree and put it in writing so that it cannot be uttered in accordance with the laws of meats and passions. Adika kuligana law the meats and passions is laws. Akuna mtu ambaye anaweza alter, akuna mtu ambaye anaweza change. Andika hivyo. Follow the way together. Imagine andika hivyo. Ili kusiwe na mtu ambaye ata change. Andika hivyo kusiwe na mtu ambaye ata change. Mbele si jaanza mahubiri. I'm, in, I'm laying introduction by the manake I'm going deeper. Kuna kitu kwanza na kitu hapa u understand. Mana kuna watu mbao, I even kuomba hawajui. I'm coming. Kuna watu mbao na oba kana kuomba tuko kwenye Old Testament. Na utu kuma kuna na maombi ya Old Testament na maombi ya New Testament. It's good to understand that. Kuna maombi ya Old Testament na maombi ya New Testament. Come on. Hi. Listen to this. Mana kwa we are going deeper here. Look at this. Ah, so King Darius put decree in writing. So, I don't know. I don't know nini Darius said in Giwa. Hakusikiria. I'm not what 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 I'm gather. That's why it is good. It's not easy. That's why it is good. Ukiambiwa na watu kitu. Bibi anasema kwamba kuwa mwepesi. Wakusikia. Get that. Ukwe mtu ambaye anasikia kwa haraka, bali usijibu kwa haraka. He alisikia bataka kwa haraka. Akufikiria bwana unaniambia hivi. Akaona kwamba anataka niabudiwa ya. Huo muzi kwa haraka sana. Usikue mtu wa kuamua mama kwa haraka. Sikia, bado usiamue kwa haraka. In mistake. Aliamua kwa na kuna watu ambao wanafanya hivyo. Unasikia ati umeona ati mtu wako. Ati 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 your man amepatikana na msichana kwa barabara kama huyo. Sasa kwa sababu amepatikana na msichana kwa barabara, does it mean alikuwa anatenda dhambi? Unaenda sasa akiingia kwa nyumba ara before mkaribishe ni matusi 200. Unajua mama wamebarikiwa na mama wamebarikiwa na Anyway so hawezi bishana mama wakati kufika ni ile ya kuogea. Mama anaweza kuogea ile kuogea. Wewe unaweza hawezi bishana sasa. Imagine na kwa sababu ya biwa umetumia text au ka Photoshop. Unakasirika na hata ujui ukweli Imagine Umeona text kwa simu unajua simu zinapatikana hizi simu hizi simu kwanza siku hizi kwa sababu kuna kuna kitu kana weka unaweza monitor simu ya mwenzako So hii simu yangu by the way for information My wife anajua password ya simu yangu na mimi najua yake sifiti hapa password anajua Anajua password hapa. Anaweza kuambia anajua password hapa. Na mimi najua yake. Bali siendi kutafuta kuchukua kutafuta pale. Hiyo ndio problem sababu ukichukua simu utafuta kile unatafuta hapo utapata. <laughs> Ujua kile mtu huwa anaogopa sana kinamkujia. <laughs> ah, eh, hey. how is it? Wamama don't understand. Man, you understand, Wamama? At before we onge, eh? Tonge, onge, 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 onge. Ah, say, 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 you are coming to come and be your cocker. Ah, ah, ah. Eh, where? Eh? Ona kuna kwa message zingine, message zingine alikuwa amesoma 10 years. Anakuambia, eh, hata mwezi wa nane mm, saa tano niliona message, ulitumiwa na Waithera. Mm. Hata mwezi wa kumi na moja saa bili, eh? eh? <laughs> niliona eh, kuna picture ulitumiwa. Hiyo picture. <laughs> na hiyo sai. Look at this now. <laughs> Now when Daniel miss now this is now the key. Daniel akajua kwamba vile wamefanya. Na akajua kwamba hawa watu wananitafuta. Hawa watu wanataka nisiombe. Hey. hey. Woo. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published. Ha. By the someone magani, he went home. Ha 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 
Bwana kuniyo praise God. He went home to his upstairs room. Thank God. Thank God. Alienda upstairs. Thank God. Acha kwanza ni nyamazi hapo kidogo. Can you hear that upstairs? Can you hear that? May that be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Hadi kuna watu sahihi hii hapa wameskia nimewaguza kwa sababu nimesema kwamba my wife anajua password. Na wewe hapo hata haijulikani na hauwezi taka mpaka Biblia kwa jua. Hauwezi taka mpaka bwana kwa jua hiyo password. Hauwezi taka. Hauwezi taka. Kuna watu ambao hawezi taka ikijulikana unaichange usiku. Kuna wengine wameweka mpaka za miguu, za miguu. Anyway, tanda hiyo kwa sababu watuongee hayo leo. Leo tunaongea hapa about Daniel. <laughs> Wakadani alisikia. Danga mbogo. <laughs> I know to give you hapa lazima ongeongea. <laughs> kuna kuna point ina neno ulikuta kwamba hata uko ulikuwa umenyamaza lazima uandike ka point. <laughs> Listen to this now. Aribu sikia kwamba ile sheria imetolewa na imekuwa side na Darius hakuogopa. Woo! Ala koza bakanda. Hauwezi weka ndani uoga. Come on. Anajua Mungu wake. Ana trust Mungu wake. Amemuona mara mingi sana. Amekaa by the way. Alianza kutumikia Mungu sana since Daniel 1 akiwa na 15 years. Na sasa yako na 8 to 5 years. So I'm serve God 70 years. Anamjua vizuri. Nisikize. So hakuogopa. Alienda kwa nyumba upper room, upstairs, nyumba ya juu. Ah. Eh, shamura tandi guzubishan. Akafungua dirisha, akielekeza side ya Jerusalem. Na the Bible says, watch this. Where the windows open towards Jerusalem. Nakuja hapo. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed. Yes. Giving thanks. Giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. Can you hear that? Taka unisikize. Aliyenda kwa nyumba yake. Ha Kama vile alikuwa amezoea upstairs. Maana yake alikuwa anakaa nyumba ya juu. Kana kwamba ningekuwa na time ningekuambia kwamba Jesus Christ alizaliwa alizari ground floor. I don't have time to talk about that. Alizaliwa ground floor. Mark that. <laughs> Bado walikula kwa upper room. Kitafuta Bible tukuta kwamba la sapa walikula kwa upper room. Second floor. Bado watukujazo na Roho Mtakatifu walikuwa third floor. So the more alikuwa anajuana na Kristo the more alikuwa anapanda floors. Usha <laughs> magaraboza kanda maranda. Ah, shimuruzaka. Hiyo ni sabuni ya siku nyingine. So akaenda pale kufungua dirisha na ni juu waone, wasikie. Haogopi. Naenda nafungua dirisha, sikizeni naomba. Anaomba mara tatu. Asubuhi tena naomba sasa mpaka jioni anaomba three times a day How many times do you pray per day Daniel was praying three times he was a man of prayer three times a day Ah Ah Three times a day Excuse me amelewa but in some you need to understand here hakuanza kuomba wakati mambo yako mazito no ilikuwa ni desturi yake ilikuwa ni custom yake alikuwa amezoea kuomba na kwa maombi yake hakuwa na complain ati Mungu bwana umeruhusu haya mambo yatendeke mbona Mungu ametoa dikiria ya kwamba nitawekwa kwa simba tunu la simba mbona lo hakuwa na complain the bible says he was giving thanks Alikuwa na shukuru Mungu kumetarawa dikiria ya kifo atawekwa kuliwa na sima instead of complaining he was giving thanks to God Hey 
Oh baba na kushukuru na stahili baba ni wewe unaweza. Ah I breathe this a time this a time. Baba nataka watu ambao kuna issues don't complain wakati unainukiwa don't complain wakati unapangiwa don't complain you can still give thanks shukuru bwana hata baba akiwa mazito that's it alikuwa na shukuru Mungu let me ask you wakati kuna covid 19 umme take time kumshukuru Mungu umme take time kwa bwana god thank you au na complain tu Daniel alikuwa anamshukuru Mungu. Kuna bikrimi yachiriwa ya kifo. Mary still anaomba na anamshukuru Mungu. Na kuna baba nataka uenda sana hapa. Get this. Alikuwa anaomba mara tatu kwa siku. That's it. Then he was praying toward Jerusalem. Can you hear that? Alifungua dirisha towards Jerusalem. Get this. Why to at Jerusalem? First Kings chapter number 8 verse number 27 and verse number 30. Solomon wakati alijenga temple kuna kitu alisema. Ya kwamba baba hii temple nimejenga. Every time wana Israeli watakuwa naomba facing this temple. Baba wasikie. That was a declaration. Hiyo ni maombi Solomon aliomba. Hebu anybody ataomba facing Jerusalem baba umsikie. Na dadi alikuwa anajua hiyo scripture. That's why alifungua dirisha towards Jerusalem. Kwa sababu Solomon alikuwa amesema anybody ambaye ataomba facing Jerusalem lazima maombi yake yajibiwe. So alijiarain na that word ya yes, Solomon alijiarain na that covenant nimekuwa na Solomon alijiarain na Jerusalem alijiarain na temple why temple maana that temple was a shadow of Jesus Christ that's it that's why ifungua akielekeza Jerusalem first kings Chapter number 8 verse 27 verse 30 especially verse 30 Solomon aliomba na akasema wakati alimaliza kujenga temple anybody ambaye ataomba akiwa na face this place ara si akiwa hapo akiwa anaangalia that place Mungu jibu maombi yake so kuna jua kujua kwamba akiangalia hiyo already kuna covenant Solomon ame make anajiarain na that Ndiko ba Mungu lazima atamjibu. That's why alifungua dirisha akielekeza Jerusalem. Akiface Jerusalem. Akiface temple. Maana that temple was a picture of Jesus Christ. Mark that. Not only that. Bible says he was kneeling alipiga magoti. Maana kesi hiyo dhambi kupiga magoti alipiga magoti sio dhambi kupiga magoti is good to understand that not only that ameshukuru in troubles in everything give thanks in everything give thanks watu wangapi wanashukuru Mungu akiwa ndani ya issues can i tell you something can i tell you something na unisikize jona alikuwa kwa samaki And the Bible says alianza kumshukuru Mungu kwa samaki kwenye tumbo ya samaki instead of complaining nani ya samaki alianza kumshukuru Mungu God alianza kusema God you are my salvation ako ndani ya samaki but still but still akaanza kumshukuru Mungu ndani ya samaki. Do you know what happened? Wakati anaanza kushukuru Mungu ndani ya samaki, God commanded samaki ikamtapike. Imagine. God commanded samaki ikamtapike. Wakati anaanza kushukuru Mungu in that situation, Mungu alikomanda samaki imtapike. Na hii kumtapika in the wrong place, imtapika in the right place. <laughs> Aitapiki kwa mahali alikuwa anafaa kwenda. Mahali alikuwa amekataa kwenda. Samaki ikadirectiona na Jehovah God kenda. Why? Man it is good to give thanks even wakati kuna covid 19. It's good to give thanks wakati bwana yako haja kuja kwa nyumba. It's good to give thanks wakati hauna ma customers. It's good to give thanks. 
wakati umepangiwa mamaya wale wanajua kama kuna watu wana ah wanakutafuta kuna kifo kuna simba zinamgoja but still anashukuru Mungu Jonah alitapikwa na samaki after giving thanks kuna samaki zinaweza kutafuta kuna kuna issues zinaweza kutapika after giving thanks Jesus Christ ile moto pray mikate kwanza alishukuru before multiplication there was thanksgiving before multiplication before raise Lazaro alishukuru then akamfufua Can I tell you something about Jonah? Now listen to me. Can I tell you something about Jonah? Mungu wakati Jonah alishukuru Mungu inside the fish. Mungu alitumia that situation na kaitumia kama platform ya Jonah ku preach the gospel. Watu waninawi wakaokoka. Do you know why? Go and angalia Syria. That time ni nefe the reason why Jonah alikuwa nakataa kwenda ninawi kuhubiri manake ninawi was a capital city. Was a capital city of Assyria. Na Assyria in 722 BC they captured Israel Na Jonah anajua kwamba watu wetu walitekwanyana na hawa watu bado ni wapelekee message ya kwamba for four, after four days only four days alafu hukumiwe Jonah alikuwa anasema pana hawa hawa walitofanyia mambaya wata hukumiwe ni vile kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kukosea alafu huwa na message That is more than any other days. It is a sacrifice. So I am surprised you kill kill nitenga hapa. Historia huyu ananitenga na hapa. Listen to this. Listen to this now. I like this. I like this now. So the Bible says this. Ile ile samaki ikaenda kumtapika pale ni nawe. And don't forget to Assyria. Wala bomo msikiza nikiongea haya mambo. You understand? Assyria walikuwa na abudu Mungu wa samaki. Miungu yao ilikuwa ni ya samaki. So walikuwa na abudu samaki. Kadat. Walikuwa na abudu samaki. Just imagine. Wako pale kwa bahari. Wanagojea Mungu wao atoke kwa maji samaki. Alafu Mungu wao katokea pale kwa sa, kwa maji. Wakaja kuja kumwabudu Mungu wao samaki, wakaenda kumwinamia hivyo. Wakaona Mungu wao na wasiwasi si kama last time. Last time Mungu wao alikuwa sawa sawa. This time round Mungu wao kana wasiwasi. Anakaka na kwamba kuna kitu amebeba. Amekaa leo ameshiba sana huu Mungu wao. Hey! Then Gafra bin Ful wa kama hali pale. <laughs> Sadenary. Akaona kwamba kuna kitu kinatoka kwa samaki. Then wakaona kwamba ni kichwa cha mtu kinatoka. Wakaona kwamba kuna mkono. Wakaona kwamba kuna miguu. Yaani Mungu wao alikuwa amebeba mtu. Yaani Mungu wao ameleta message. Tena katapikwa. Na mtu akatomoka message kutoka kwa Mungu wao. Then mimi nitakaza kusema repent for the days alafu mtu unamalizwa. Then wakaenda sana oh my. Huyu message amekuja na Mungu wetu. So lazima huyu mtu tumsikize. So lazima Mungu alitumia that situation after giving next akatumia hiyo situation ikamsaidia to fulfill his purpose. Manake wale watu walijua kwamba huyu mtu ameletwa na message wetu. Lazima gamsikiza. That's why walimsikiza. Wakaokoka. Power of giving thanks. Kushukuru is a sacrifice. That's it. Mungu alisema kwamba sacrifice of thanksgiving. That's why wakati hata kuna mgogojwa, enda kanisani ambie God thank you. It's good mama kifanya makikurinda. Mwambie thank you. Unaweza beba hata kitu kwa kanisa, enda na kitu, ambie God thank you marido ndo yangu. Unajua ina issues. But take a sacrifice for that ambie God thank you, mwambie God thank you. Siku mwambie tu hivi thank you. No no no. It's very it is a sacrifice. A sacrifice. Tukuje kuongea about Thanksgiving. So Daniel alikuwa na shukuru mahali pale. <laughs> so ni vema sana kwenda kanisani. Kuambia Mungu ni asante. Ana wakati umepata fiance, mwambie thank you. 
enda na kitu enda na sacrifice that mean god mekuja kusema ni asante bwana ara wakati mambo hayanisikize atushukuru mungu kwa sababu mambo ni mazuri tunamshukuru kwa sababu anafaa kushukuriwa before testimony and after testimony that's it don't alikuwa anashukuru kuwa dani then after kutendewa shukuru mungu the ten rapers ni mmoja tu alirudi Jesus Christ anauliza wale wengine kenda wako wapi Then huyo bali kuja. Bali nasema namna gani? He was made whole. He was made whole. The word whole there is sozod. S O Z O. Sozo, sozod. He was sozod by the way. He was not only healed but also preserved. That's a whole nice word. That's it. It's a whole nice word. Maana kwa kitu mmejua siri ya kumshukuru Bwana. You go far. Wakati hujaajiriwa unashukuru Mungu kwa sababu hata kwa hiyo situation amekulinda. Mara gapi umemshukuru Mungu? Mara gapi? Mara gapi usaidie na kanisa ni kwambie thank you. Asante kwa wakofu wako. Sana kwa maana nimeolewa. Kuna watu mbona katika kuolewa hajaolewa? Nimwambie kuna rafiki yangu aliniambia <laughs> Sara Maruti Dutch I know tumefungiwa kwa ndani ni alafu tunaenda watu 100 But we are still preaching the gospel regardless That's it Kadis alikuwa naomba mara tatu na namshukuru Mungu not only that facing Jerusalem kneeling down and mark this he knelt down in courageous prayer he was bold in prayer he was bold in prayer mark that not only that maombi yake alikuwa ni continuous prayer bold in prayer and continuous prayer si maombi ya kukwama continuous prayer he was confident in prayer thank you morogoni thank you he was confident in prayer imagine bold in prayer confident in prayer he would have gone afanya and remember is good to understand how to pray this one is very important i know kila mtu amesoma kuna you see before the cross jesus christ said teach Mombi ina mbili. Kuna the Lord's prayer about the prayer of the kingdom. Kuna John 16:23 and 24. Mombi ngine Jesus can finish prayer of life. Kuna prayer of life John 16 verse 23 and 24 prayer of life. Kuna prayer of the kingdom. Lord's prayer. Tangu nisikize vizuri sana. Those are two prayers. Ari finish two prayers. I know watu wanajua moja Lord's prayer. I don't know kwa nini inaitwa Lord's prayer kwa sababu ile Lord's prayer is John 17. John, John 17 inafaa kuitwa Lord's prayer maana yake ndio aliomba. Hiki ni ilikuwa ni disciples prayer. Ilikuwa ni disciples prayer maana yake Jesus Christ hangeomba hii prayer ya Matthew 6 or Luke 11. That was hiyo ilikuwa ni disciples prayer. But kuna ile priestly prayer of Jesus. John chapter number 17 aliomba. You need to understand this. This was a pattern It, is, it was not there for repetition it was a pattern kuna mambo nafaa kusoma mahali pale maana kuna mambo ambayo kwa mahali pale tunafaa kujifundisha mambo kadhaa each and every time you pray ukiangalia kama hiyo lord tunaita lord's prayer kuna mambo you need to understand kutoka kwa hiyo story ta unisikize taka nielewe mambo haya bwana nataka kukupea hapa maana yake ni muhimu sana each and every time you pray you need to understand these things get this nielewe hapa When you wrote prayer there is no 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 singular pronoun Hakuna When you wrote prayer kuna spirit unafaa kuangalia wacha nikupe kwa mfano kidogo number one. nisikize ukiomba Usikuwa selfish kwa maombi kwa spirit Ukuna an selfish spirit an selfish spirit our father Our, 
our 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 and say official spirit our our prayer our father our is a is plural not singular then look this number two kiomba family spirit our father our square of his bahari then father family family prayer is a good a family spirit father spirit imagine unajua kwamba una address your father family spirit and get another spirit pale hallowed be hallowed be reverence his spirit reverence his spirit you are respecting god worshiping yeah how be thy name reverence his spirit kingdom loyalty spirit that's the royalty spirit royalty spirit thy will will submissive spirit thy will be done submissive spirit when a spirit to submit kati naomba royal spirit royal spirit kingdom the kingdom loyal spirit give us give us today give us today dependent spirit dependent spirit give us your depending na ye. dependent spirit when you pray and let us pray still lead us not into imagine temptation broken spirit broken ko broken unaweza ongozwa manake unajua kuna watu ambao hawezi ongozwa so wakati umevunjika sasa una uko ready kuongozwa broken spirit that is a kingdom that is a kingdom confident spirit your confidence na ye. kingdom ni yako confident na ye. confident spirit power 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 triumphant spirit triumphant spirit triumphant spirit and glory exalted spirit exalted spirit hiyo ni hizo unafaa kuwa na spirit kama hiyo wakati unaomba you need to understand that unafaa kuelewa hivyo na wakati una, unaomba it is good to understand the relationship that you have with god the relationship that you have with god mark this our father our father there's a son father relationship son father relationship son father relationship how be the name worship relationship you are worshiping relationship yako ni yako ni ya kuabudu father son relationship our father how be the name worship relationship na muabudu thy kingdom subject relationship thy kingdom subject relationship Listen to this. That will be done servant relationship. You are son but also a servant. Servant relationship. Very important. Daily bread, daily bread. Beneficiary relationship. You are benefiting. Beneficiary relationship. You are benefiting. Forgive us. Forgive us. Righteousness relationship. ni relationship ya utakatifu lead us pilgrim relationship au kai hapa unaongozwa pilgrim relationship so hayo ni mambo ambayo unafaa kusoma kabisa you need to understand about ill or spray kwa mahali pale but you also need to understand this hayo ni mambo ambayo unafaa kusoma but you need to understand hiyo ni prayer ilikuwa ni kingdom thy kingdom come that will be done But can I surprise you? You also need to understand something. Then remember disciples wali na kwa Jesus. Wakamwambia tufundishe kuomba kama vile John amefundisha disciples wake kuomba. Mark that. Remember this prayer is still a Old Testament prayer. Lost prayer is still a Old Testament prayer because the New Testament was not yet introduced. It's good to understand that. So wakafundisha mambo na mumix sana amefundisha mahali pale ni muhimu sana ufaka kujifundisha kutoka kwa ile ombi but still kuna mambo after cross ya rechange kuna mambo after cross ya rechange that's why before cross John 16 verse number 
Aliomba kwamba kuna day inakuja. Anajua tumeweka hapo. Kuna siku inakuja, amtaniomba kitu. Should be praying in the name of Jesus. Skiza. Wakati tulikuwa nafundisha wa rot prayer, hawa kwa mekonfe kuomba in the name of Jesus. Maana ki praying the name of Jesus is praying the person of Jesus Christ. Character of Jesus Christ, praying the name Maneka the name still he come piano so how come who see what man come come now from your day kid that day was pentecost after pentecost now they can pray in the name of Jesus Christ before pentecost they can pray lord's prayer but after pentecost they can pray in the name of Jesus takunitege Maneka the reason why walisema kufundishwa kuomba kwa maana hawako wanajua kuomba but after pentecost they have the holy spirit and romans 8 the bible says roho mtakatifu anatufundisha kuomba after roho mtakatifu kuja ndani yako unafundishwa kuomba na sio unasikia kwamba mara mingi today with the holy spirit you need to understand this one maneka this one is very important Ya yeah, vile moro gani umesema kwamba <laughs> ah nitakuja nitakuja hapo Kwa maana if kuna ombi inatumiwa vibaya sana ni lot prayer Watu wana, wanairudia tu wanairudia tu wanairudia tu wanairudia tu wanairudia tu but unakuta kwamba kuna mambo yanaitwa for example let me give you a very example the bible says uh, by the way i brief Felix Felix I believe kwa mahali hapa ukiangalia kwa my page kwa my page uh, kitu kama last month kitu kama last month hizo statement zote nimetaja nimeziandika hapo kwa my page by the way ukiangalia my page hiyo yote nimeiandika yani nimeiandika mahali pale so unaweza kuta kwamba hata watu ambao wako kwenye egos egos generation 1 egos generation 2 hata in Christ generation nimeandika all those things nimeataja hapo So I briefa kwamba naamini kwamba kuna mtu mmoja anaweza chukua kwenye hii kwa copy na paste hapa watu waone. Nataka kwamba karibu sana. I brief Alex or maybe Ben, wale boko ni wengi sana wako kwenye Eagles au watu wengine wanazangalia kwa my page at least usaidie watu ambao ni wageni hapa post for copy for them na uh, paste hapa. Na wataona kile nimeongea kwa sababu nimekimia sana. But one of these fine days tunakuja kutambua Lord's prayer. Sababu kuna mambo inaitwa na sana. For example, the Bible says thy kingdom come. So where is the kingdom of God? Tukuje kuangalia nao. Tusamehe dam makosa yetu kama vile tunakosoa nini? Tukuje kutumbua haya mambo. Tuangalie the relationship vile nini? Haya mambo. So don't miss that one. Ana. Napomalizia kuna kitu nataka kutaja. Wakatafuta Daudi na wakampata. Wakuta maomba, kana kambia Darius anaomba. Hey. Ya Darius akashindwa na gani nataka akoe Daudi? na hawezi nao sababu ile ameandika barua kwamba lazima yule atashikwa naomba for those that days zima kwenye tundo la simba that's what happened akasema kwamba kile kinanijenga Darius akasema kwamba hana otherwise bali usiku aka fast because of Daniel Daniel akawa kwenye tundo la simba kawekwa pale ndani na ukakuwa jiwe na ukakuwa seal pale akuriwe na simba marai dango the night darius akafasa hakukura that night asubuhi na mapema akakimbia kenda kuangalia wacha nikusomea hiyo wakati na marizia na kaya daulu wa shama zai burama i know tunaweza ingia hapa sana look at this tago ni tege verse number 17 verse number 17 a stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den and the king seed ate with his own signet ring with the rings of his nobles so that Daniel's situation might not be changed then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him and he could not sleep the king Woo! Ah, at the first light of dawn the king got and hurried to the lion's den verse number 20 When he came near the den like this he called to Daniel in an anguished voice Daniel the servant of the living God <coughs> Daniel woo Halalo shalamazanda He called to Daniel in an anguished voice Daniel son of the living God 
has your God whom you serve continually been able to rescue you from the lions huyo ni mfalme kana asubuhi akajua kama huyo alikuwa anajua Daniel and serve the living God hamuuliza amekuokoa akukura usiku because of Daniel then Bible says verse number 21 I like it Then you answered O king live forever my god i like that my god sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions ama wekwa kwa simba tunu la simba wala mandu wanafikiria kwa matakufa wanachukua teo chake wakamweka kwenye tundu la simba bala idha ngo daniel there na simba god akatuma an angel from heaven kanda kafunika finyo vya simba awakumkula can i tell you something never a situation paka leo bado mungu anatuma malaika i remember i'm reminded bible nasema kwamba in the book of acts chapter number 5 kuna wakati apostles walifungiwa kwa prison na mungu akatuma nature akafungia wao milango kuna time in acts chapter number 12 peter aliwekwa kwa prison mungu atuma angel akamfungulia kwa prison manake mungu huwa anatuma malaika wake kwa kile situation is my prayer mungu akatuma malaika wako right now kwa hiyo situation may Mungu atoa malaika ya malaika wake sasa maybe unapigana na simba wa magodwa issues kwa nyumba yako zinakaa simba kuna issues kwa biashara zinakaa simba magodwa na kasimba i want to declare tonight Mungu anatuma malaika wake. Mungu says angels are our servant. And the time you speak by the way, you can command angels by your words. And the time you speak maraba kondiba. Malaika anachukua those words. Wana fulfill kile ambacho unaongea. That's why I always say it is good to be positive. Maana kile ambacho unaongea, malaika anasikiza, wanachukua anatimiza. And tonight kile ambacho utaongea, kuna malaika watatimiza kile ambacho unaongea. They are the voice of the word. And we are there to give the word of God voice. Any time you speak the word, angels wanachukua that word na wana fulfill kile ambacho umetamka. Anza kuongea mambo juu ya biashara yako. Anza kuongea mambo juu ya watoto wako. Anza kuongea mambo juu ya maisha yako. Kuna maraiko wanachukua those words wanatimiza. Nataka nitangaze kuna vinyo wa Mungu anafunika. Hey, shile za Ramakoda. I thank God for Paul. Siku moja Paul yakandikia Timotheo. Siku Timotheo chapter number 4 akasema namna gani? Yakoba Mungu aliniokoa kutoka kwa kinywa cha simba. Siku maanisha kwamba kuna simba walikuwa nafuata Paul. Ah ah, ni shows. Maro shala mananda ba. Eh, shimarado kazishu mivanda. Can you hear this now? Nani aliambia? Oh. Remember na kaunisikize. Remember time ya shot na kamisha na bendego. For the man alitumwa Jesus Christ. And also believe hata hapa ni Jesus Christ alikuja. I breathe. Bana sema Mungu alitumwa angel. So lazima Daniel awe aliona angel. That's right. Remember alikuwa na mtu wa visions. Remember alikuwa amezoea kuona visions na angels. For your information, alikuwa ameona, remember, nataka unisikize. Remember Daniel chapter number 7. Iko before Daniel chapter number 6. Are we together? Yeah. Daniel chapter number 7. Are we together? Daniel chapter number 7. If tunapanga the book of Daniel in a chronological order, Daniel chapter number 7 iko before chapter number 6. So if tunaweza panga Daniel tunaweza kuchukua chapter number 7 tuiweke pale Daniel chapter number 5 ikianzia So alikuwa amezoea kuona visions So I believe aliona angel pale amekuja akafunika vinywa vya simba wale simba hawangemfanya kitu Why? Woo! Mara kuna malaika walitumwa wakafunika vinywa vya simba. Kuna vinywa tonight vinafunikwa. And the time you speak the word of God in your life. Mara kuna chukua that word. That's why kad Jacob alikuwa pale a place called Luz. Akaona landa and the angels of God they were descending and ascending. Can you hear this? They were descending and ascending. 
Thank you, Felix. So, some of you will be wake up on my summarize. Get this. The sending and ascending. Why? Woo! Shelly Makanda. Ah. Awakuana, Miskiza. They were not descending and ascending. They were ascending and descending. Meaning they were already there. Now, Miskiza, let me surprise you. Kira Christo na kuwa na marika wake. Sera. Kira Christo ana marika na si moja. That's what the Bible says. Nyumba za wale mwana mwagopa mungu zimezungukwa na marika. There are angels around your house. There are angels around your house. Then the Bible says, what is it? There are marika that are going to be a lot of people. There are people that are going to be a lot of people. They are going to be a lot of people. They are going to be a lot of people. That's why it is very important to dedicate a lot of people to the church. That's why it is very, very important to the church. And the church. Manaka the angels are signed kwa ajili ya watoto. The angels are signed for us. Sasa kuna malaika wamelinda nyumba yangu. Hey! Lele show bagarama goto ko za banda garida. Shizala. Na yani kwa mimi kitu kimoja, hii vita malaika wa Mungu anapigana. This test. That's it. Tani alisema namna gani? My God sent his angel. May God send his angels. Ofanye hiyo kazi, hiyo vita wakupiganie. Oh rakona garawosha la manda. Just imagine. We have them. We have them. Oh boshama. Una malaika Sarah Emily, una malaika Sahi. Mahali umeketi the angels. Wakati tunatembea the angels waka tumerara the angels wachowe ya kizunguka nyumu wachana na wao hey, that's why that's why it is very important kile unaongea manake maliko wanaka hapo wanatukua kufuata kile mbacho wanasikiza kile unaongea ebu maji ni usiku wanasikia unapiga duru manake wanashiru nini nini kwa ni nani ya maigena ni sisi tunalinda hii nyumba Unaogopa atuna shindu kulala. Unatangaza in Jesus name. I'm protected. Nothing can harm. Oh. Those that may come on your left side. Ten those that on your right hand. No one will harm you. To say them is. Angels are there. No one shugurikia. Waketumerana lana vizuri. Watana wana bishop lango. Angels wata shugurikia uko. Watakuficha. That's it. And I declare wakati kuna COVID-19. May the angels of God, they are ministering spirit to us. We are years of salvation. Wacha walinde wewe. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's what happened. And I thank God because the Bible says, They have not had Simba. How awkward because angel hangeru huzu mahali pale. And to cut the long story short, the Bible says, then the king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. Woo! Aka order to be lifted out of the den. Mahali aliwekwa. Kukawa na amli ya tolewe. I know. Kuna watomo tonight. Kuna amli wa tolewe mahali walikuwa. Kuna watomo tonight kwa hiyo situation. Kuna amli wa tolewe kwa that situation. I know tonight there is a dikiri. Una tolewe mahali umekuwa. Mahari uko. There is a decree tonight utolewe. She is a smite name. There is a decree utolewe mahali pale. Listen to this. A kind of no word was found on him because he had trusted in his God. And come a trust. Even in the den of lions. And come a trust in God. Then the Bible says the king was overjoyed and give order. Akawa lifted. Then Angalian. Bible na sema na magani. At the king's command, the man who falsely accused, this is the word, accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. What a boy called me accuse Daniel. Don't choke. Namtu abaya na serve God. Don't choke. 
Na mtu ambaye ana trust God. Don't joke. Na mtu ambaye anaomba. Don't joke na maombi. Unaweza mpangia vibaya ukuta ni wewe. Unaweza unaweza muingiza kwa simba. Zile zimba stafuna wewe. Unaweza fikiria ni hata atisho hiyo kazi yako iishe. I tell you. Anaweza tunikrea. No accusation. Itafaulu kwako. Tebu zimekuwa turn over turned. Imagine. Awa kufika tini wakararuliwa mpaka <laughs> paka watoto wao. Let me declare this. Chochote kilikuwa kinafikiria kitakumaliza. Kitaisha. Ule ugonjwa ulikuwa unafikiria kama utakumaliza utaisha. Yes. And any any mchawi ako nafikiria kama atamaliza mpaka mambo yako hataweza. In Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. That's what happened. The Darius wrote to all the peoples, nations and men of every language throughout the land. May you prosper greatly akaandika akasema namna gani? Akaandika barua nyingine. Kulikuwa na barua ya kwanza, barua ikaandikwa barua nyingine. Kwanza ilikuwa ni ya kifo. Kaandikwa another letter. Hey. I issue a decree that every part of my kingdom people must fear. Hey, hey, shalalala. Never let the God of Daniel. Another letter. Kulikuwa na first letter ya kifo, bali kukawa na another letter. Can I tell you there will be another letter. Eh, maga. You remember aliyodikiwa barua ya kwanza akisema kwamba amegozeka, there will be another letter. Hakuna magodwa. Kuna first letter ilisema utakufa, but there will be another letter. Naishi. That's why the Bible kuna another letter. First letter iliandikwa first covenant ya kifo. Kuna another covenant letter inasema tunaishi because of Jesus. Ana kwa maisha yako kuna another letter. Woo! Hey! Oh! Ha 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 ha. Mbele ya watu wote watu wote walikuwa wanaona kiusi ndani walizurikana waliletwa tu. There is always another letter. Remember the time of Haman, there was a first decree and a second decree. Time of Daniel, na first decree and a second decree. Wakati wetu na first covenant and a new covenant. There is another decree, there is another letter. There is another letter. Ah. Ha, 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 ha. For he is a living God. He endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. He will, he will rescue you from the power of lions. So Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the passion God bless you Baba tunakupa sifa kwa maana wewe ni kimbilio wewe ni tegemeo umetunenea kwa jia kimaajabu na jia kimiuchiza wewe unaweza Mungu kila kitu umeokoa watu wako Bwana umetuma marika wako Mungu all over Vinyo vya simba, vinyo vya kansa, vinyo vya malaria, vinyo vya diabetes ogo, vimefunikwa in Jesus mighty name. Vinyo vya COVID-19 vimefunikwa Bwana. Kuna maliko wamezunguka nyuma zetu. Kuna maliko wamezunguka watoto wetu. Kuna maliko wamezunguka biashara zetu. Kuna maliko wametulinda baba. All over wanafanya kazi. Wengine walikuwa naogopa. Wengine bali walikuwa na yumba yumba. Wengine walikuwa wameona mwisho wao, mwisho wa biashara zao. Wengine walikuwa wameona mwisho baba watoto wao na ndoa zao. Mara Declare in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be angels who go all over. Wanze kufanya kazi. Wapiga nye kina vita buwana. Vila uliokoa. Pa uli kwenye kinyo ata simba. Ata wama unawoko kutu wako kinyo ata simba. Wakino mekua accused to force me to home and go. Wakino meweko kwenye tunu la simba. Wako kwenye shimo mahali wa mawekwa. Kwenye situation ni mewafunga kama shimo buwana. Father, through the power of prayer and thanksgiving. Let there be an extinction go. Let there be an extinction for familia zao. Let there be an extinction tonight. Jesus mighty name. Tangaza baba unawaokoa. There will be a turn around oh God. Tables are going to overturn God. 
Baada ya kumepiga ni hawa watu. Umwatendea makubwa na maajabu na favor. Favor. Favor to hold God. Favor. Iko juu ya maisha yao. Lakini wamelia fosoro. Lakini baba wamenganyana fosoro. Lakini baba wamekuwa stagnated fosoro. Mara hii nikaria tonight umeonekania na umwapiga nini umwashidania. Kariga jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na hata kuamini. Shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you so much. Tuko hapa tomorrow by the way. Na Daniel chapter number 7. Don't miss that one. I'll be talking about the little horn. The four beasts and the little horn. Don't miss that one. Ah uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you Mungu amariki sana. Ana watu ambao wametufuatilia for that long. Aludhu uh, God bless you. Grace Matari God bless you. Mary Wajiru God bless you. Ben Kim God bless you. Sophia Wairimo barikiwa sana kutufuatilia. Netu Mugai God bless you. Irene Mothan God bless you. Mase Robert you are blessed. Mase Queen God bless you. And um uh, Watani wao watu ambao tumekuwa nao Sarah God bless you. James Mina God bless you. Judy God bless you so much. Morogo you are blessed. Ah uh, Magijoroge umebarikiwa sana and uh, Makikidenji Ah uh, Natese God bless you Mudhoni wa Mungu barikiwa sana Magi Magi God bless you Lile Collins God bless you Rebecca Otieno you are blessed Chani unao toboa mko na wasi Our Priscilla barikiwa sana <laughs> barikiwa sana Sony Helen God bless you so much Gladys Waitera God bless you Ah Sarah Emily you're blessed Josephine Jerry God bless you Ah Liz Dongo God bless you God bless you Don't miss tomorrow Daniel chapter number 7 the four beast and the little horn wewe ambaye umetanganyikiwa about antichrist don't miss tomorrow yeah Phyllis, thank you thank you Jesse thank you thank you thank you Ah to me sure God bless you Ah, glad to see you. God bless you. Alpha Greed. Barikwa sana Maggie Joroge Ben Kim. Yeah, my number. Ben Kim Ben my number. My number is 0726511792. In case of any question una maombi nataka tuombe nipigie tomorrow. Tuko na time of prayer 0726511792. Nyokafi. Gicho he God bless you. Alpha Greed. Ah nasema umebarikiwa sana anasema ni barikiwa thank you. <laughs> Younes Mataria. Ana go. Firesi yeye anasema kwamba <laughs> Ari sasa ameanza kuwa ndani ya. <laughs> Shuko kawabu. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> If wewe ni mgeni mara ya kwanza wacha tukutabue wewe mgeni mara ya kwanza Yes 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 <laughs> Yeah tunakuja hapa tunakuja hapa uh, tunakuja hapo tunakuja hapo Moro nimepata swali yako hiyo lazima nitajibu tomorrow Jo nitaanza nayo kwa sababu hadi tunaingia lazima tutaguzia hiyo lazima tutaguzia hiyo kabisa tutajabua kidogo about Esther uh, hapo hiyo sorry nitajibu very important alushi lazarila yes oh masarobat nasema kwamba ni mara ya kwanza wali mara ya kwanza thank you god bless you can i see watu wengine about mara ya kwanza wame to join leo uh, at least tutangaza the grace of god upon them kuna mtu aliniambia kwamba siambi watu waseme grace tukiondoka. <laughs> Maybe uko pale hauja receive Christ na ungetaka aingie ndani. Sema Mungu katika jina la Kristo nimeamini ufufu wako. Na nimekili kwa kinywa changu ya kwamba Yesu 
ni Bwana. Asante kwa maana mimi nimekuwa mtakatifu na mimi ni kiumbe kipya. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeokoka na miamini. Amen. Baba kwa wale ambao wameokoka, I speak the grace. Wacha Roho Mtakatifu azidi kwa nguvuza. Na uzidi kushikilia Jehovah God. In Jesus name. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. You are saved. Karibu kwa family. Jesus name. So wale ambao ni mara ya kwanza God bless you Mungu amuonekanie. We meet tomorrow Daniel chapter number 7 and uh, Shalom. Shalom. Thank you. Good night. Oh, hata tare kimoja anasema ni first time. God bless you. Tare karibu sana. Karibu sana. Ah, uh, watu wa nyumbani si mkaribisha wageni. <laughs> Wabie tomorrow kuja uh, bado ibada na wageni. Eh uh, kuja na visitor. Karibu sana Mungu bariki sana. Uh, Safan Maruti God bless you. Sara Karen barikiwa sana Yoranda oh ulikuwa ukwe <laughs> mekuwa na thought maybe uliko me, umeenda kufanya kazi alafu karudi Yeah God bless you we meet tomorrow Shalom Eh <laughs> uh, if I would subscribe kwa my YouTube Leverad Kevas Karanja Just go there subscribe kuna sabu nitakuta kwa bado tunaweka pale mingi sana kuna zingine tumeziweka tuna nyingi sana tumehubiri Ka, kuna sabu mingi sana kama za 2 years <laughs> za every sunday tunaweka all of them there so enda subscribe utapata zile na zingine mingi sana subscribe hali pale kwa reverend canvas kwa subscribe it is you kubarikiwa na those messages in jesus name in jesus name na if i would like the page this one kwa bwana usiraiki ili tukiingia kwa mahubiri unakuwa notified. Yeah. <laughs> Afraia sana watu wa viru wana welcome. Wageni. Shalom. Our great days the grace of God is upon you. We are praying for you. And let me tell you, stand firm. Simba hata kufanya kitu. That's it. Simba hata kufanya kitu. Jesus name. Rose, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shalom. <laughs>